Hey everyone, I purchased some products from Karen's Body Beautiful a couple days ago and today I received the shipment so I want to share with you guys everything that I bought. Now it was a combination shipment so I'll show you first what my mother got because I did the combination shipment with my mother. So I'm going to show you what she got and then I'm going to show you what I got. Um, she got a hair nectar and this is a light leave-in conditioner formulated for medium, thick, naturally curly textures. So, this is what that is. I didn't purchase it because I feel like in one to two uses it will be gone. So I decided to leave this to her. My mom's natural as well, but her hair is um, a bit shorter than mine. So, that's hers. She also got this pomegranate guava hair butter. And it smells great. It really smells nice. Um, very fruity. And this is the texture of it, if you can see. And this was $16. And I believe this was also $16. And if not, it was $18. So it was 16 or 18 or somewhere in the teens. I don't remember exactly. Um, now for what I got. I got this bar of soap. It was $6. And the scent is called um, Baby Something. I don't remember exactly what it is because it didn't come with a label on it. But I recall that it was Baby Something when I purchased it. So, and it's all natural. So since I'm starting to use more natural products as far as um, more natural makeups or more natural lip glosses. I just, and deodorants and everything. Like I prefer everything to start being natural or more natural than chemical because um, your body absorbs what you put onto it and I just want to take care of my body basically so I'm going to start using more organic and more natural products so that's the reason why I purchased the soap and it was six dollars it's supposed to moisturize your skin and leave it soft just like any other um, body gel kind of boasts to do but I'll update you guys and let you know how it works once I use it. The next thing I got was honey oatmeal jojoba oil. And this is supposed to lock in moisture. It's supposed to stimulate hair growth and strengthen your hair shaft. So this should be interesting. So when I'm not in the mood to maybe use hair creams or something like that, maybe I'll just start using this and they say that you can put it on the scalp. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it yet but um, I'll update you guys once I make more videos and once I figure out how I want to use it. Um, the next thing I got was lavender vanilla jojoba oil and this is supposed to do the same thing as the other one so I won't go over it. Then I got Egyptian musk hair butter Now this is supposed to stimulate growth as well and it's meant to be a little bit thicker than the hair cream so I'm guessing this has more shea butter in it than this one and this was $16 as well. Now I experienced a little problem with the order. I have been showing you guys this vanilla latte hair cream forever, sorry. Um, I know you're getting tired of seeing it, but the problem that I'm having is that this is supposed to be hair cream, and this is also supposed to be hair cream. Now, this is white, and this other one is yellowish. I don't know if you can see it. And this one is lumpy. Like, when you rub it in your fingers, it's lumpy. And from the first day that I purchased this, this has never been lumpy, nor was it, like, filled off to the top like this. Like, I don't know, it just looks completely different. This looks like it was kind of hand spatulated in and scooped off, whereas this one looks like it was a, a solid surface on top. Kind of like, basically, kind of like this. This is how it looked when I first got it. And this is how this hair cream is looking right now. So, they look completely different to me. They've been filled differently. The color is different. Everything about it is different, so... I'm supposed to be receiving a shipment label in the mail, or rather a return label in the mail, and I'm going to return the product to them, and hopefully I get the product that I ordered. So, 
that's basically everything that I got. Oh, and the order came with these two little body lotions. And I don't so much care for their lotion because it's watery and it's thin. I don't know if you guys can see. But it, it's a little too watery for my taste. I like thick lotions. But they smell nice. And I have more containers for lip tars now. So... Is that it? I think that's it. That's everything I ordered. And before I go, I do want to show you guys my hair and show you what I did. I just removed the ends of the braids. Well, from the shaft down, I removed. And the reason I did that was because I'm going to start combing my hair and manipulating it again. Like once I um, comb it and wet it and shampoo it and everything, I'm going to start manipulating it again. And I just didn't want to start uh, manipulating my hair again without letting it rest first. So this is kind of a rest where it's not in like a cast, like in a, a strict position. Basically, I kind of want to just leave it loose and let it, let it do its thing, so to speak. And also I removed it because it's going to make my life easier when I do decide to take these braids out. And today is Wednesday, so I'm going to remove these braids on Friday or Saturday probably. And Thursday would have been week four. So tomorrow would have been an exact month that I've had the braids in. And I'm probably going to remove it a day or two after the month, the month mark or the mark of the month. So, um, yeah, basically that's it. And thank you everyone for watching. And thank you everyone who subscribed. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And there's a lot more videos coming up of um, flat ironing tutorials, blow drying tutorials. Um, more FAQ videos, but as you guys know, school is pretty hectic, and um, yeah, so I'm just trying to stay on top of that, but there's definitely more videos to come, and you all have a great week. Bye-bye.